Now an ad hoc product is a type of product where the buyer has the content and they need to supply it to you in the print shop. Right? They're uploading the artwork as opposed to picking from a catalog of predefined static print on demand or customizable or variable data kinds of products. So here you can see this took us right into the ordering window, the full screen ordering window, uh, where we're going to dynamically put our product here together as the buyer. Right here in the upper left hand corner we see the first question where it's asking us what files do we want to upload to print. And when they click on that the buyer sees the various options that you've made available to them. We're going to go in here and upload a file. Uh, I've got an example here. I'm going to be uploading a PDF file, 36 page PDF file that I've got prepared. But if I were uploading a native file, for example, a Word file or um, a PowerPoint or God forbid a, a publisher file, right, where we always have problems with those, we will automatically convert that to a PDF file. So that takes that onus off of the off of the customer and off of the folks in the print shop. Uh, we can also check files uh, that are uploaded for common problems uh, like are the fonts embedded properly, are the images of the right resolution and so on. A pre-flight check along the way to help ensure that those problems are taken care of or weeded out during the upload or at least that your operators get a heads up that there may be a problem that they need to check on before printing the job. So the first thing the buyer is going to see here is this photorealistic preview of the document uh, here with the settings that they're choosing applied. Now a couple of the things that I really like about this kind of process in MDSF first of all you can see that we're calculating the price for the buyer uh, as we go so we're generating the quote for them based on the selections that they make and based on what they've uploaded. The other thing that I really like about the ad hoc ordering process here in MDSF is the way we use visual cues and visual feedback with the buyer to help them get through this process in a self-service way. So for example, uh, if somebody doesn't understand the difference between coil binding and comb binding and other kinds of styles here, uh, they can still tell by the visual cue that we're showing them here in the selection drop-downs uh, what that option means and what it's all about. And they think, gosh, I didn't know that was called coil binding, but that's what I had in mind for my project. And gosh, I can even change the color. And when they make those selections, then boom, they see that instant visual feedback in the dynamic preview here over on the right hand side of the screen. We can also help people avoid silly mistakes. For example, when I chose binding here, you saw that stapling became unavailable because the two just naturally don't go together. But if I were to turn binding off, oh well now stapling's available and so maybe I want this instead of being a bound booklet to be some kind of a binder insert. So I'll choose three staples down the left hand side and we see that immediately on the preview. And maybe I want that to go into a binder, so I'll choose three staples and oh look I can tell that's going to be a problem as well so this visual feedback really helps them get through the process of specifying the job in a way that makes sense and in a way that they're going to be happy with and this helps eliminate the amount of time that your operators or your CSRs in the print shop need to spend contacting the customer after their order comes in to make sure that we understand the specifications and here you see that I can flip through this book and see as if I had a, a printed proof of this in my hand. This is their online proof that we're going to have them accept at the end of this process before they place this item in their cart and pay for it uh, at the end of this process. Uh, there's some other features I could show you here too. For example, in addition to that, that flip mode that we were just looking at, that preview mode, folks can look at their pages uh, in a reader spread mode uh, like we see here. And this gives them a overall page view of their project where they can move things around or bring in pages from more than one document or if they need to uh, do things like insert blank pages or insert tabs or other kinds of features that you can enable here if your customers need them. So by the end of this process your customer is feeling good about what they're seeing here on screen and they can see their price and whether or not they're happy with that. They hover over the price they can see all of the options that they've chosen that have brought them to the price that they've arrived at. And so they're ready at that point to go ahead and add this product to the cart. And you'll notice when I click on add to cart, right underneath where I click, we're having them accept this online proof. Right? So the onus is on them to make sure that this is correct. And that's their proof approval that you can point back to if any issues arrive with the job upon delivery.